Um... Have a seat. Thank you. Here, madam. I don't feel any chairs around me. H how am I going to... It seems the people here sit on their heels. Here, cushion. Just make yourself comfortable. You ladies look better now. What were you going to ask? Your walls, won't they collapse? Hmm? Why do you think that? Because they seem to be made of only earth and stone. I don't think these materials can stand the weathering. Not to mention the wooden pavilion on the walls. <laughs> you draw the conclusion only by its appearance. In fact, the stakes are deeply driven into the ground and stand firmly. No need to worry about the peeling bricks and clay. It's just a sign of the city's longevity. The city's longevity? So how old is the city? As I recall, hundreds of years, its annuals take up most of the library. Each volume records a decade. Considering the large quantity, hundreds may not be the best quantifier. There are many historical sites in the city. You may take your mother for a site tour. Madame Bismertz is not my mother. Miss Pierre, oh, I apologize. I forgot about her sight. That's all right. People often mistake me for having good eyesight because I walk around freely like others. The silver lining is, we have a caring policy in this regard. We're here to help whether you need assistance or not. You keep talking about my eyesight. May I ask why? The government is obliged to provide help to people with severe impairments, including those who have lost their sights in both eyes. Isn't it the same with the northerners? Oh, if my question is offensive. No, that's fine. More than fine, actually. In the North, I have to do more to be treated like an ordinary person. I see. I've heard that people at the North idolize the strong and pay little attention to the weak. Little did I know the disabled enjoy no privilege. But now you're here with us in Pay City. Please rest at ease. Moreover, you speak fluent Hanese. I'm sure your stay here will go swimmingly. You mean we are speaking the Hanese right now? Are you not? It's interesting you ask. According to the records of the hub, most of the foreign merchants with fluent Hanese have lived a long time in the Central Plains. While you're obviously not one of them, neither have you paid frequent visits here. Otherwise, you wouldn't have forgotten a proper pass. You're a man of sharp wit, I have to say. Back where we are from, merchants come and go, including those who speak your tongue. We've dealt with them a lot throughout the years. If it weren't for their advice, we wouldn't have made it this far on our first journey as a new caravan. I see. Foreign merchants are well informed and welcomed by the citizens in Pay City. Oh, there are other foreign merchants in the hub. If you have no place to stay, the caravans arrive there might be a good choice.
take this with you. It is the pass to verify your identities. You can enjoy your stay here with it, or you might end up being expelled. Thank you. Then how are we going to... Please, show me the document you have now. Certainly. Uh, let me just... I, I have them. I always have them with me, madam. Oh, thank you. You are reliable as always, child. Thank you. I will take a look. Hold on a second. Looks like it's written in Turkish. Is it Turkish? What? No, it. Yes, a variation of it. This is the written language in the north. Yeni, this is the written language in your hometown, also known as Yenisaic, isn't it? Oh, yes. That's right. My apologies. I should have known that our language is a rare kind in the Central Plains. I understand. It's all right, but I'm afraid you have to write it down yourself, including where you came from. Please take this file as a reference. Thank you. I'll do it. Um, sorry, but I don't think I can read it. Hmm? Oh, my mistake. I should have realized the paperwork is much harder than oral communication. But the servant is not here today. All right, you can tell me and I'll write it down. Like this one. What did you come to the city for? For business. How many of you are there in the team? Seven, including us. There were seven of us. Were? Where are they now? This is also what we are trying to find out. On our way here, they were transformed into horses and taken away by a giant bird. Transform into horses? Hmm. Then how come you didn't get transformed? We have no idea. Perhaps because Madame Bismert and I are arcanists, while the others are humans. What do you mean? Does the giant bird only attack humans? Then how does he identify them? There's no huge difference between humans and Arcanists, after all. What? Um... No huge difference. Is that a problem? No, not at all. Let's go back to the difference between humans and Arcanus later. 
My guess is there might be something wrong with the water. We found a river when crossing the step. Our teammates were too thirsty and drank the water in haste. Then we realized something was wrong. Yes, it came from the northwest. Not the big one, but quite clean. That might be the main river of Pei City, called Peilin River. But it's been shrinking these past years. Also, there are no cases of people drinking it and turning into horses. What were the features of that giant bird? He has black or brown wings, red tail feathers, and a man's face. Also, as I recall it, he has the voice of a young man. A giant bird with a man's face. A feather man. Did he play a musical instrument? He played a stick-like instrument. His music could lead the horses to where he went. Was there a bone-like wand with him? Could be, but I'm not sure. He was so far away from us. I have a rough idea now. If that's what I think it is, even though he is not a Shangri, I have to say... <sighs> Sounds like something happened when you last met. The giant bird, or the featherman as we say, was considered a Shangri by some citizens. It is because he looks like the legendary Go Mang. What is this Xiang Rei? Is it some kind of guardian? Not exactly. In most cases, Xiang Rei is just Yao, but in a good way. They are benevolent, using their power to help people and bless the area. Before your report, there was someone else witnessing a feather man with a bone wand. He once brought some animals to the Jutsu and claimed they were transformed from humans. This... this is exactly what happened to our teammates. If these two are the same Feathermen, then he is very likely involved in these missing persons cases. Oh, the cases you mentioned. I, I see. Too bad that witness couldn't remember anything, even the slightest feature, for us to draw a picture. Since no one could provide other evidence, her word was considered nonsense. The Fatsao thought she was possessed and suggested she take a break in her hometown during the holiday. We want to pay her a visit. Will she come back? I'm afraid not. She worked as a Julie in the Jitsu. It's not a crucial position, but clearly not suitable for a possessed person. There's someone filling in for her now. What if... What if I can offer a drawing of the Featherman? He was far away in mid-air at the time. I couldn't see the details, but I remember his outline and the color of his wings. Besides, I have experience in making sketches and maps. I can totally make a drawing of him. Sketch? Map? Hmm. But we can only attach your drawing to the wanted poster for the moment. We can't put him in prison without solid evidence. Everything is yet to be confirmed by the court. But a drawing is better than nothing. Please give it a try. Here's the brush and the ink. Help yourself. This is the same long pen you just used? That's right. 
And this is the ink? But it won't adhere to the pen. To get the liquid ink, you need to rub the ink stick on the ink stone first. It's fine. I'll rub it for you. You can focus on the drawing. The draws are really heavy. And do we only have the black ink? No, there are different colors. May I have the red one? Please hold on. I will get it for you. 